Hey guys, the Flixer again. Welcome back to Meta 4 Assault Squad 2 and Rob's Realism Mod. It's super awesome to be back with another World War 2 battle. You know, it feels good to be back with this because this is what feels like home to me out of pretty much everything else we've done here on the channel. World War 2, Rob's Realism Mod. I mean, you can do World War 2 in other mods, but I guess World War II is what it comes down to. The mod, of course, too, is home in many ways, but, you know, there's other great World War II mods out there, like to Taller Krieg, which is awesome as well. But the point is, this is just so fucking awesome. You don't need blasters, you don't need TIE fighters, or hover tanks, or AK-47s, and, you know, T-72s. You don't need it. You don't need blasters. You don't need warthogs. You don't need, uh, frickin', uh... What do they call the bugs from Starship Troopers? You don't need muskets. I mean, uh, I I don't even know. You don't need it. You don't need anything, really. I mean, you can live in a cave, too. But uh, anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, this is the Battle of Foy. I uh, almost turned to the Eastern Front there for a second, but no. This is... You've seen this before. We've actually done a video or two of this before. You know, you've got the, the open... Uh, field uh currently not really in in any use since it's winter um you've got all these hay bales uh and you know you have a row of buildings um with german soldiers just waiting for the americans to attack in the open and that is what's gonna happen this scene or this area is has been made famous both in band of brothers uh, the attack on Foy, or the Foy episode, I'm not sure which episode that is. It's during the Battle of the Bulge, and of course, also, Call of Duty United Offensive. Of course, it was a famous battle during the Arden Offensive, uh, or Counter Offensive, as it was called from the German perspective. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not that any game or movie made it famous, I mean, it was a big battle at the start, but still. This is some really, really iconic scenery, and I have to say, this is by far the best version of Foy I've seen in this game. The map comes from Old Boy, I do believe. It's part of his uh, German missions. Uh, we've used his Tobruk map for our uh, two-part Battle of Tobruk, um, where we got Anzac troops. I think we had a few British join in later to relieve the ensieged or besieged rather anzac troops for part two so that was just a good mini series or whatever you want to call it really awesome maps and i'm absolutely loving this i think we are going to have a really really good time here on this map now i choose to not really dive in and look at german positions they are everywhere you've got the classic flak 88 here in the center i think this is where it should be at least this is what i could imagine it being placed at least i think there's in the game, like in Call of Duty United Defensive, oh, blah, 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 baby, I, boo -doo -boo -doo -hoo, yes, exactly what he said. I think there's a Flak 88 here, uh, and also Band of Brothers. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And I've, I've spiced things up here on the right side. There's going to be a German counterattack. We're going to have Shermans of all kinds running down the center, and of course, the the star of the the show, the 506th Infantry Regiment or the Parachute Infantry Regiment, to be exact, part of the 101st Airborne or Infantry Division. Um, but yes, it, it's an Airborne Division. It's an AD, of course, but uh, anyway, without further ado, uh, do, do, do. let's go click, click start. Uh, I'm skipping words here, because I'm kind of excited. It's going to be a good one. We've got artillery dropping. We're using the Immersion Sound Mod, um, which is my favorite sound mod. I mean, Rob's Realism Mod has great sounds, but there's something to this that makes it... Oh. Oh, there's just something about that crackle. I love it. And also the gun gun challenge are amazing. I'm a little... I've had a cold. I've had, like, uh, allergic reactions to the, the, the spring. What do you call it? The... Oh, I can't remember what it is. But it's the shit that comes off the trees. Like tree sperm or something. And it's kind of, kind of annoying for the, the nose and all. But, uh, you know, June 1st, it's a pretty good pretty good day to get back in action. Uh, I don't know if any of you thought I was dead, but I always come back, I guess, like Jon Snow or something. So, here we go. That MG42 is going to open up at the uh, Parachute Infantry. Rushing across the open. Now we got Shermans on the right side taking fire by the Flak 88s. One has come to a complete stop. Probably lost its tracks or engine. I'm not sure which. Actually, it just seems to have come to a stop. 
The other two Shermans will be passing the Sherman on the road. Supporting the airborne infantry. Still charging at the buildings. German vehicle is going to be brought down. And it looks like that flak has been knocked out as well. What a scandalous beginning here to the, uh, the, uh, the battle. I fully expected at least one or two Shermans to be brought down, if not all three. But, you know, well, as soon as you hit that start button, the game is going to surprise you. That is a big shocker, and it's going to impact the battle quite severely. So we have the three surviving Shermans now lined up along the road and on the side. Just opening fire here at the German troops in cover here. Right now receiving the American infantry, which has now kind of made it across the open, and they are starting to make their way into the urbanized area here, hitting the first row of buildings. We have a few more. We, well, it looks like we have a squad of airborne infantry coming in from the flank here on the left side. Moving in. I think I saw a rocket go. Could that be a Panzer Shrek? It was, or I suppose it's no longer active. That could have been devastating for the Sherman, which is still active. We also have some um, armored infantry moving up here on the right side. These are guys from the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One. Not as uh, snow-covered here as the... Uh, airborne because they have probably been in warmer places <laughs> and instead of being dug down in uh, foxholes. You can tell there's more snow in the airborne infantry. Big explosion here as we got Germans running out of the building being shot dead trying to retreat. I think I hear an MG42, not sure where it's located. Here we go. In one of the building's top floor, behind a window, currently just opening up at the armored infantry, attacking on the right side of this road, seen from the American perspective. Kind of a long range engagement right now, so they're being pinned back, taking a few losses. The armor is not moving, obviously fearing more AT further into the city. You don't want to move in. Too close uh, to the buildings and cover where infantry could be hiding with the Panzer Fausts, Panzer Shreks, uh, AT grenades, you name it. Big explosion back there. I think that came from one of the M4s. Yeah, over here we see a we saw a huge explosion back here. It, it looked like it hit some of the cover. Yeah, that has decimated a lot of German infantrymen here holding the road. This has just been a blitz here by the uh, the uh, Americans just a complete steamroll but so far the Germans are still holding the Americans back here you see Americans uh, 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 you know approaching but a lot of accurate German small arms fire is gonna bring down a lot of airborne infantry we can also expect a German counterattack as part of this uh, mission or this battle actually it's not a mission at all in fact it's just a handmade battle by yours truly on a map that I find just absolutely stunning. Uh, made by um, Old Boy, presumably. He does seem like a uh, one man army here creating uh, both maps and missions for Rob's Realism Mod. We have a Panther. This is a Panzer V rolling down this road, making a lot of noise. So far, the Germans are holding the left side or the right side of the city here, seen from the American perspective. And this thing is going to roll down this. Well, it's going to roll straight out to the field. It's not going to take a turn down past the church. It's going to confront the American armor that can be seen he here on the road. Oh, okay. One shot is going to land just below the belly of the Panther. 
this is going to turn nasty and quickly. That's a good shot, though, by the Sherman. That's going to knock out the right side treads. Um, the other round is going to bounce. The Panther is indeed going to overshoot the Sherman. Oh, and a slightly more accurate aim after coming to a halt is going to knock that one out. The, the two Shermans back here are pounding the Panther. Perhaps the two 75mm main guns have dealt enough damage. Not quite. It's going to definitely shake up the crew inside. But so far, that Panther is still kicking. That's right in front, so a lot of explosive damage. The round impacted and detonated. Okay, the Sherman is still standing after taking a side hit. Okay. Well, we're going to focus on the infantry still here in the center. This Panther is going to continue firing. Uh, oh, it's taking a lot of Sherman rounds. That hull gunner is still... Oh, there goes a second Sherman. I can only imagine what it would look like if the Flak 88 was uh, operational uh, still, or at least uh, after having destroyed at least one or two Shermans, that Panther would have no trouble defeating uh, any remaining Shermans, but uh, it looks like the luck has run out. But let's remember that the three Shermans have impacted the battle quite severely. Uh, American infantry is now breaking into the city on all sides. We have airborne infantry among the buildings here on the left side by the square. You can hear their Grants and Thompson submachine guns run crazy at the German positions. Looks like the German counterattack has begun. We have a Stug entering the city. That assault gun is going to put a halt to the American advance. We also have a lot of German infantry advancing in the open and down the road. The counterattack is on. There could be a whole company counterattacking the American infantry right now. And no Shermans are alive and standing to deal with this Stug and to support the airborne infantry. We can see the infantry here just taking cover in craters wherever they can find cover. We got a 30 caliber machine gun here going nuts. I love seeing and hearing this gun in action. It's such a cool piece of weaponry. It's got an iconic look to it. I really love the design. It's simple and it, I mean, it's just a machine gun. You know what I mean? The German infantry approaching from everywhere. That medic is going to be shot dead and fall to his fate inside the crater. German infantry approaching on the left side. Panther still active. I think we're going to need another tank platoon pretty soon. The Americans should be bringing up reinforcements as well. We have a lot of airborne infantry here on the left side. Many are pulling back now, taking cover. The Germans are pushing throughout the city. Look at this massive counterattack. But they're not done for yet. The Germans have to remain cautious. They're fighting a very uh, battle hardened unit here. And they won't give in easily, I can tell you that. Reinforcements have arrived. All right. Oh, yes, baby. We got some uh, um, EC-8s rolling in right now. The 76th Sherman. Four of them. So that's a, that's, a, that's a squad packing a punch here. I can tell you that much. They will probably deal with the Panther without too much problem. Uh, we have to remember there is an assault gun down the main street still active. And right now, it looks like the Panther has knocked out two Shermans. So, you know, probably, probably, probably should uh, should keep an eye on the casualties here in terms of tanks. A lot of airborne infantry moving up on the right side. We also have another company being sent down the center. I'm stunned that Panther isn't yet disabled. I just cannot believe it. Two more EC-8s. There goes the third. Well... Sometimes the game gives you a finger. Well, I think I can stop claiming any kind of historical accuracy. 
since the game simply don't want to be historically accurate. I'm giving the Americans all the reason to win this, but so far they don't seem to want to, you know, capitalize on their opportunity. Well, we'll see if the airborne infantry can seal the deal. There's a panther here, but these guys should be packing AT grenades and more. Besides, it has knocked out its, or it has no treads, practically, so. Or threads. Treads? I don't know. Threads? Tre God, I don't even know. Well, <laughs> over here on the left side of the city, airborne infantry is now starting to push back the German infantry. You can hear him screaming, shouting, running away. He's got Garands and Carbines putting a lot of fire on the retreating German infantry. I think we might have to get a bazooka up in here or something, knock out that uh, panther. Or just some, some sick-ass AT grenades. I know they got it, so I'm just waiting for them to use it. It's a, it's a shame we, we lost all these uh, EC-8s here. It'd be cool to see them run through, but... Uh, German manufacturing, or steel, or I don't know. Efficiency, I suppose. This is, this is a one hell of a tank. The Panther, some some argue it was better than the Tiger, even. Um, it had definitely had some upsides. I think production cost and a few other things. Uh, it was the other way around. Oh well, sometimes it does get confusing. Stug still active, but we got more American infantry coming in on the flank. They're dealing with Germans here occupying a larger building. We're going to see some close quarter action here. Might we see some hand grenades in action? This is awesome, though. Oh, that's sick. That's a hand grenade for sure. Impact of the top floor up there. Look at that. Just lean out the building, open up. Oh, he's got it. Look at this. Grenade out. Okay, so you're gonna throw a regular frag instead of an AT grenade. You better hope you got a. You better hope you've got a, an AT grenade packing somewhere. Come on. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll remain patient. The Americans have now kind of pushed past. Oh, these are Germans. That's a G43. Is that a Garand? No, it's a G43. Show me, show me some hero moves, boys. Get some of them uh, AT grenades out. Granted, they have them. The battle is starting to fade out a tiny bit. All right. So either the AI is stupid. No, there we go. There we go. Get these bastards. Okay, I'm going to knock them out. So that came a little too late. Not a little too late, but... It couldn't have come any later, or it could have came, it could have come sooner, is, is another way to put it. So that Stug is down? I was like, boys, you're scaring me for a second. I don't like wasting my time over your silliness here, okay? You guys are airborne infantry, you know, you should know better. Prioritize. Don't don't lose a heck ton of men before you, th before you take your shots with those AT grenades. Besides, I like seeing infantry knock out tanks. It doesn't have to be a tank on tank action all the time. I mean, I would take 20 men over a tank. I would take 20 airborne infantrymen over... A I'd even take 10 airborne infantrymen over a panther or a assault gun in a in a foy situation. You know what I mean? Especially a, a gun with a... Or a tank with a assault gun. You know, an assault gun is when you basically just have a static gun or something, like, attached to the hull itself. So it's like a, mo it's like a moving cannon <laughs> uh, that can't rotate, really. Hear that sweet carbine. Is that an STG-44 on the other side? There's a variety of men here. Look at that. Sturmgewehr. Well, they're starting to pull back. There's more airborne infantry moving up. 
but this is going to be a very casualty filled battle with plenty of casualties on both sides. I wonder if we're going to see another AT grenade be used against that panther. I'm curious. I am so curious. By the way, let's have a quick look at the situation. We're going to open up the minimap and give a... Well, you can tell. There's a group of Germans here on the uh, top right side of the uh, city. We have a like a line of airborne infantry. Possibly, possibly, possibly some armored infantry down here. Any bazookers? No, you guys have pistols. There's an airborne soldier, VAR or something. Out here in the field, another crewman. Okay. And over here, another crewman. And a, an airborne soldier. Down here, more troops. Grand. Well, we're starting to thin out a little bit. This is going to be a interesting final stand. By the way, I can't fully disable the HUD. For some reason, it's back being a bitch. So... I don't know why. We're going to have to call this for a draw. That's a shame, but you guys do like your unclear victories. And many times I think you like custom, like, unhistorical scenarios better because you don't actually know is winning. And it doesn't really hurt you to know. or It doesn't really hurt when uh, whoever, whoever wins because it's like it's, it didn't happen. To me, this is a, a little hurtful. This is a little painful seeing... I mean, I've spent a lot of time to adjust this perfectly, but apparently I didn't. So, I spent a lot of time making sure the right number of tanks, the right number of infantry, and the right number of shit happens to be exciting and undeciding in a way, but yet kind of angle it, kind of, kind of, kind of give the Americans the incentive to take home a victory. It doesn't have to be a steamroll, but God damn it. Three Shermans alive at the start. Panther rolls in. Knocks them all out. Then we got fucking... Sorry, language. Four EC8s. Four 76s, right? The Ws or whatever you call them, right? They roll in. They get taken out one by one. Look at this. This is a trash pile. This is a fucking yunk yard, dude. Like, what is this? Storage hunters? I don't know. Like, it's yunk. It's junk. It's... What the fuck? How many do I have to send in? Eight? 32? I mean, look at the amount of holes on the, we've penetrated this thing so many times. How many crew members are still alive? I don't know. I'm on a rant. I don't care. Look, side armor hit, front armor hit, uh, turret hit. It's like mo some of these are bounces too. I get that ricochets. I because if, this, if these were all penetrations, this thing would not be working. Well, we might just have to call this the Battle of Foy undecided draw, inconclusive. I'm scratching my head right now. Thoughts are going through my head. What the fuck do I do? Do I restart? Do I just pretend this never happened and do it again and hope for a better result? Probably not, because you know what? It's not worth it. You guys aren't going to care that much. We had a realistic battle of foy. Let's pretend the freaking USAF came here, bombed the shit out of these Germans, and then there was a victory. Or that this was just, you know, what actually happened, except there was more going on here and here and here. And then the Americans swept in and won. You know what I mean? That's, that's how you can look at it, too. Okay, well, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the end game. This is what we're looking at. We have the American casualties in yellow, the um, German casualties in red. And there's a nice spread throughout the entire... There's been a small battle over here. There's been a skirmish. You know, yeah, I think a decent number died out here in the open, like three, four dozen. And then when it came down here to the urban fighting, this is where most of the people fell. The, sh the assault gun was taken out. Oh, we got oh, we got some action going on still here. Look, it's not over. So let's let's have them go at each other for a bit longer. Get off and try to You know what? I'm, I'm going to do a cinematic version of this battle next, probably just fully cinematic, some sweet views and everything. And perhaps we'll get a more realistic view or realistic and result or ending or whatever but it's going to be the same battle it's going to be the exact same battle it'll just be interesting to see what happens okay well we've come to a bit of a stalemate i don't think much is going to happen from now on it looks pretty much the same the germans are dug in here by this uh t-section right here and they are not moving besides this panther has just been repaired so that's a that's an oopsie for the americans anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video let's call this a draw it looks like the germans changed history 
uh, this time around. So applause to the outnumbered and undergunned Germans th that suffered greatly at a start, and still the Americans could not capitalize on that situation. We had a bit of a messy situation down here with the EZ-8s, but really there's no reason for this to have happened. I've tested this mission plenty of times before. This has really never happened. I mean, I've never really came to a complete stop, but I've seen all these units on the field pretty much be taken out one way or another. So I'm kind of freaking stunned that the Americans did not come through this time around here, especially when it's so important that we are recording it and trying to get a historical result. So you know what? Look forward to a video tomorrow, I think, with a cinematic take on this music, cool angles, just so you kind of like the historical variant of this battle. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys soon again. Ciao.